What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, New Aramar, back again with another video for y'all. And today, I'm back again with some more drama. Um, Drake responds to Pusha T. Now, if you see the last video I just uploaded, I uploaded, um, I was just reviewing Pusha T's Daytona album, which is amazing by the way much he, he pretty much threw a jab at him saying you don't write your bars bro to summarize it you know what i'm saying you gotta go listen to this song it's called infrared he threw a couple jabs at drake on there um but yeah basically what he's saying is you not worthy of being my opponent you don't need you don't need to write your bars you know what i'm saying he was responding to drake's song uh two birds one stone i think he dropped last year or 2016 one of them all i know is these two be they be now that I think about it, Two Birds, One Stone was a long time ago. That was like a little bit before, a little bit before More Life. That was like the end of 2016, I think. It's been like a year and a half and my man just now coming back with something. So, <laughs> but yeah, Pusha came back at him. He responded to that, said what he had to say. Drake, if you ain't really popping, he probably gonna give you the time of day. But I think he sees this man right here is popping right now. And, it's a lot of talk and everybody asking what you gonna do and I think he fed up he fed up with people talking about his bars man like he writes he he's claiming he writes you know what I'm saying sometimes he get a little help now that's another topic for another day I don't know how y'all feel about that <laughs> you know what I'm saying me personally I feel like if you got ghostwriters you can't be considered top tier lyricist I think I, I would really have to I would really have to sit down and, and hear how much Drake wrote. Like, what all songs did you write? You know what I mean? Like, what songs did other people write? You gotta go through his whole catalog, you know? Um, he says he, he only worked with Quentin on a few songs, and it was, I guess it was just some hooks here and there he was trying to get help with. But, um, I don't know. He never really even fully addressed it like he should have, but hey. I guess he just tried to drop some more heat for y'all and just hope to God that that blow over. But obviously people like Pusha, who's an extreme lyricist, top tier lyricist, he ain't, he ain't trying to hear that. You ain't going that ain't slipping by him. So he threw that jab up, and here we go now with Drake replying. So let's hear what Drake got to say. Now I heard I ain't gonna fake no reactions over here. You know what I'm saying? I have heard the first eight bars of this, then I stopped it just to come here for y'all. Just to come here for y'all and discuss and break this down with y'all, cause I'm I'm excited like y'all excited. So we gonna get into it. Let's just stop playing and let's get into it. Oh, this is called the Duppy Freestyle. I don't know what the hell a Duppy is. I don't like the name. It sounds sweet. It sound like he ain't about to say nothing for real. Like it ain't hard enough. It already ain't hard enough. Don't call it Duppy. The Duppy Freestyle. Duppy. Like. The, the hell is a duppy, bro? Like, you can't even say hard, yeah, nigga. This the duppy freestyle. Like, anyway, let's get into it. I'm in shock. Why are you shocked, bro? The nerve, the audacity. So if you rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of V's, what do you really think of the nigga that's making your beats? I've done things for him I thought that he never would need. Father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. I pop style for 30 hours then let him repeat. That's a good point. That's a great point. That's <laughs> Kanye clearly has ghostwriters. It's very well documented. I think Pusha has it written for Kanye. I heard Kendrick did. Side of Prince always says he did. He worked on some stuff with Ye. And Drake saying he did too. And they definitely worked together on a few things. So it's kind of like, how you gonna call me out? When your man, your boss, your man's, your best friend, he got ghostwriters. How do you, you don't say nothing to him? Just me. And I only worked on a few songs with somebody, you know what I'm saying? And this dude, his whole, I mean, from the beginning of his career, we've been hearing since Ron Fest, like back in the day, said he was writing for him. That's 2004, right? Hey. I don't know, man. That's a good point. 
How you popping up with the jokes? I'm dead, I'm asleep. Ooh. I just left from over by y'all putting pen to the sheets. I'm tired of sitting quiet and helping my enemies eat. Keep getting temperature checks, they know that my head overheats. Tired of sitting quiet and letting, helping my enemies eat. So he calling Kanye the ops. My nigga, you the ops now. Why the fuck you niggas listen to denim and Steve? Must have had your infrared wrong, now your head in a beam. Y'all are the spitting image of whatever jealousy breeds. Don't push me when I'm in album mode. You're not even top five as far as your label talent goes. And now the teachers are learning. Yeah. Your brother said it was your cousin and him and you. So you don't rap what you did, you just rap what you knew. Don't be ashamed, there's plenty niggas that do what you do. There's no malice in your heart, you an approachable dude. Oh my god. Now, this right here is something that he brought up something that I've been trying to decipher because I looked up Pusha T's uh, criminal history. I wanted to know, is it real or not? Because he said, no rapper sold more dope than me than Eazy E. God rest his soul. So, I want to know how, if it's true or not. I hate, I hate, it's nothing more disappointing than hearing a rapper talk the hardest street bars, drug bars, and then he really ain't never sold drugs. That's disappointing. But from the, I, I heard about a situation where Pusha T's old manager got locked up. Some of his family members got locked up and it was a big drug ring. But they said he ain't had nothing to do with it. Like he never got caught. He never got booked. Maybe he got out the game fast enough. He was rapping already. So I don't know. And this was just a few years ago, so clearly he was rapping already. But I don't know if these dudes, like, took the rap for him or whatever. Like, how? how They had no evidence on you, so clearly you wasn't really in it at that point. Maybe. Maybe you was. Maybe you was just being discreet, and maybe they were just holding you down. Maybe the homies was looking out. I don't know. But from what Drake's saying, like, basically, you talking about they story, not yours. You know what I'm saying? The indictments say they locked up. You not. You ain't had nothing to do with that. But we don't know. We ain't got no proof. I don't, I don't know. But it is something I question. I wonder about it. Like, maybe it wasn't as big as he said. You know what I mean? He might exaggerate a little bit. I don't know. We, mm. Man, you might have sold a college kids for Nike and Mercedes, but you act like you sold drugs for Escobar in the 80s. I had a <laughs> microphone of yours, but then the signature faded. Right. I think that pretty much resembles what's been happening lately. Please believe your demise will be televised. Yeah. And as for Q, man, I changed his life a couple times. Nigga was at Kroger working double time. Y'all acting like he made the boy when I was trying to help the guy. Yeah. Who gassed you to play with me? I did it. I'm fearless with it. Yeah. I really shouldn't have given you none of my time. Cause you older than a nigga, you running behind. Look. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Drake talking that talk. Hey, first of all, Pusha T is definitely 41 years old. I just found that out because I had to look that up off the last video I was doing. I was like, well, how old is Pusha? Because he said something about his 40th birthday buying a Ferrari. I'm like, golly. Kanye about that age too, but that's funny. It, it just sounds funny. It is a jab hearing somebody say you you older than the dude you running behind. Like how you how you older than your boss? You know what I'm saying? That just it sounds a little funny. Like you should be on top of him, but he yes yes yeah man. That's your it, it's just like the roles is reversed. That's just that's just funny to me. It's just funny. He tried to downplay him a little bit. That's funny though. Holla at me when you multi million. I told you keep playing with my name and I'ma let it ring on you like Virginia Williams. I'm too resilient. Get out your feelings. It's gonna be a cool summer for you. I told Weezy and Baby I'ma done them for you. Tell Ye we got an <laughs> invoice coming to you. Considering that we just sold another 20 for you. To be honest. <laughs> I just seen a picture a, a couple minutes ago when Drake dropped a picture on Instagram with the invoice and it says for reviving your career, you owe him a hundred thousand or something like that. <laughs> it's funny. He said, I just, he just, he just gave you another 20. That's funny. I think he was, I think that was a, a play on words. Like he was, he's about to help push a sale with another 20,000 records. Like, just off this, just off of the back and forth we doing right now, me even mentioning yet, I shouldn't even be talking to you. But the fact I'm about to bring your name up and give you a whole diss record, 
you about to get, that's another 20,000 onto your record sales, bro. You about to be, you about to, we about to boost your sales up. So you owe me now. Like that, let me finish this up. If it's anything else. I know most of y'all gonna say, did he write it though? I don't know. I don't even care at this moment. I think, I think he, I think me personally, I think Drake writes. I think he wrote. I think he writes like his his dopest bars down. I think that sometimes he gets help with certain songs, like when he needs like a club record or like something that's a little out of his something he ain't really used to doing. Like he need a club banger or he try to join the new wave that's popping right now. You could tell sometimes he probably need a little help with it. Like it makes sense when he was working with Quentin Miller. Like he probably needed a running through the six with my woes. Or, some of the songs on there, like, he probably just wouldn't have thought about that himself. He was probably at a point where he was so used to doing, like, R&B records and stuff like that. He's like, damn, how do I? I need some club bangers. So you got to get some people who's into the club scene, and they got some some joints, you know what I mean? What y'all think, though? Y'all think y'all think Drake getting the one-up on him right now? Because I think Pusha gave a dope line, you know what I'm saying? I think, I think Drake got him right now, personally, because Pusha threw a little jab, but Drake hit him with a whole song. So now we need Pusher to drop a whole song. Give him a whole song. Don't play with him. Don't give a little jab to him. Hit him with the whole thing now. I know Pusher can do it. Pusher got the bars for sure. Pusher, Pusher ain't no joke. So I'm, I'm ready to hear what Pusher got to say back, man. I'm excited. This is beautiful for hip hop. I hope it don't turn into nothing else. I doubt it. Both of these dudes is like they seem chill, calm dudes. Like nobody trying to fight. <laughs> when they see each other, they know I get shot more than likely. Um, but yeah, I think this is dope. I think Drake, I, I like this. I think Drake got the one up right now, personally. You know what I'm saying? This is, I'm ready to hear what Pusha got to say. How you gonna respond, Push? Push had it on, uh, I, I think Drake got him a little bit on the two birds, one stone. That was a clear jab. I was like, yikes. Push it through a little jab about the not writing, but I mean, that's kind of getting old, though. Just like the, how many more times can Drake say, you ain't even really sell drugs? That's going to get old, too. You know what I'm saying? That's going to get old. They both going to have to come up with new points of view on how they going to take each other down. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta come better. You can't just keep saying he don't write. And he can't just keep saying you didn't even really sell drugs. It's like, all right, we could do this same thing all day. I'm ready to hear some new points of view. But, hey, I think Drake got this one for tonight. But push his album still amazing. I'm finna go listen to it again right now, you feel me? And um y'all comment below, tell me what y'all think about this Drake record. Um it's not the best. Don't no don't get it twisted. This ain't Drake's best diss record ever. It ain't it ain't a back to back. It's more like a charged up. But a little bit a little more direct than a charged up. It's directly at push it. The other one was like charged up was just like a couple bars here and there about me, but but it's tough though. I think it's I think it's dope. You know what I'm saying? I think it's dope. It's good for hip hop. So let's see what happens next. Tell me what y'all think. Comment below what y'all think about the song. Um, make sure y'all like, subscribe. Let me know what y'all want me to react to next. And I got you. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy New Era Mar. I'm out. Peace.